Hey everyone, Chris with another video. Today we have Slim Rom. I'm going to be going over this here with you. So Slim Rom running NuGet 7.1.1 March security patch. March security patch. So this is slightly different um, just of how it installs. It's different than AOSP lineage. Um, it is very slim hence the name. Um, there are a few customizations, but this by all means is not um, stable, I would say. Um, I've just experienced this in the past 24 hours, tons of um, apps stopping, um, things like that, but we'll get in that, into that in a minute. Um, the install and the initial setup is kind of a pain but I'll do a separate video on that. Just stay tuned and subscribe, that way you will get notified. But today, um, again, just going over the just general ROM and performance, we do have voice over LTE interface options. We just have basics, um, status bar, system UI tuner, functionality that you have in NuGet anyways, so nothing too elaborate or custom there. Um, we do have slim recents um, panel. So this is the slim panel over here. You can expand and swipe away individual ones, or you can just use the default NuGet panel. There's no way to change the clear all location. Um, pretty basic in that sense slimmed down if you want to say navigation bar you can toggle that on and off here real easily you do have the ability for you touch functionality you can also look change the location of the buttons there so here we have the you touch functionality you can change enable Press to go back, the swipe to open the recents, and just a single tap to go back, a press to go home. So that all works as intended. There's no bug with the long press of the button, so that's good. Display, we do not have live display functionality, um, so at night the screen is not going to tent. tent um, that's unfortunate the brightness at minimum brightness is still quite bright i in my opinion i've seen it dimmer um, or that could just be the live display that's kind of interacting with it as well battery you don't get any um, battery kind of functionality since this isn't lineage os based but just for today under 40 percent in about three and a half hours screen on time um, but I did record a full, maybe like 8 minute 4K video this morning on this phone. So I'll be posting that video in probably by week's end, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty special. So ambient display, so similar to kind of like OnePlus functionality, you have, and when you pick up the device, the screen will turn on, wave your hand over the Proximity sensor, screen will wake up, that sort of thing. Fingerprint scanner works just fine. You do have the Magisk manager, so Magisk root uh, is built in, so you don't need to worry about flashing Super SU after flashing the ROM. Um, Substratum menu option is built in here as well, so that's good. So Substratum is fully supported. Now, some of the issues we've been running into is apps stopping um, in particular Chrome, Google Plus, um, some other apps when doing different tasks actions right here, Chrome has stopped. So, and then it just kind of like doesn't load the page. Um, there's stutters when wanting to go to different tasks, things like that. So when I want to open an app like Twitter, it freezes and then it opens. And then usually, yep, Chrome has stopped. So that's a usual occurrence that's been going on here. Um, but 
So again, Play Store, it freezes and then it opens. So it's definitely not polished by all means. Um, but other than that, um, at first I thought it was going to be a nice experience, but all these stops of apps and things like that have been have been a pain. Um, so I definitely would not recommend this as a daily driver. Um, kind of swiping down, it's just it's sluggish at times. Um, I've had the phone restart once, um, but phone calls and data works, but you do have to delete a specific file um, after flashing the ROM. Like I said, I'll be creating another video, so stay tuned for that on how to flash this ROM itself. Hopefully there are more updates that come. Um, I would like to see this ROM get more developed because I liked using it on my next bit Robin. But other than that, um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the ROM, I'll do my best to answer them. Like I said, this is really a, a quick test of it myself, and hopefully I can educate you all and answer questions. If you were curious about trying this out, then here you go. Anyways, thanks for watching, and please hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can see my future content when it's posted, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.